Hi, this video is for those of you who have locked yourself out of your iPhone 7 or 7 Plus after too many incorrect passcode attempts. And you're now faced with this message telling you to connect to iTunes. Now, I'm not going to be going into a lot of depth in this video, okay, so I suggest you watch it all the way through. And if you're still having problems restoring your iPhone 7 after following along, then take a look at the more in-depth version of this video that aims to address any potential problems you may come across. I'll add a link to that video in the description below and also at the end of this video in the end screen. So just a few things to consider before we get started. This process of restoring your iPhone back to its original factory settings through iTunes does not allow you to unlock your iPhone so you can use it on any network, okay? So please don't ask me that in the comments as you will not be able to use your iPhone on any network as a result of what you're about to do here today. Another thing to be aware of, guys, is that all your files such as contacts, videos and photos, etc. will all be permanently deleted from the iPhone 7 you're about to restore. So hopefully you've backed up all your files on iCloud or some other external storage such as a computer or other external hard drive. The thing is guys, you can't use the iPhone anyway, whether you've backed your files up or not, so you really have no choice if you want to use your iPhone 7 again. The only things that will not be deleted is your Apple ID and activation lock. You're going to need a computer or laptop for this process, You'll also need a decent internet connection or this process may take some time. It will still work if your internet download speed is slow. It will just take longer of course. Now you're obviously going to need iTunes on the computer being used and if you haven't already got iTunes on your computer you'll need to download it. iTunes is completely free to download and I've added two links below depending on what operating system you have and use on your computer. And be sure to save this video so you can come back to it as you must restart your computer after any software update or download. Whatever it is in order for that update or download to take effect. Now if you already have iTunes on your computer just make sure you have the latest version by going to the top clicking on help and scrolling down to check for updates. As you can see, I already have the latest version of iTunes installed, so I'm good to go. But as I've already said, if you do need to update to the latest version, make sure you restart your computer for it to take effect. Okay, so you'll need to connect the iPhone to the computer using a charging cable for your iPhone. And depending on the laptop or computer you're using, will determine whether or not to use a standard iPhone 7 charging cable like this, also called a USB-A to lightning cable, and what would have originally come with the iPhone in the box, although it would have been white, as this red one is just another one that I've purchased. The other type of cable you may need to use is a USB-C to lightning cable like this, which later laptops and computers now support. Okay, so open iTunes on your computer, and if you have an Apple ID, then sign in, as it will definitely help things to run smoother, especially if the iPhone you're about to restore is connected to your Apple ID. That said, you don't have to sign in for this process if the iPhone isn't connected to an Apple ID. Any problems, just repeat the process until it works or try changing the cable. So make sure your iPhone's off, in which case with iTunes open and the cable connected to the computer but not to the iPhone just yet, press the volume down button as you connect the iPhone's lightning cable. Hold the volume down button in until the iPhone comes on and the recovery mode screen comes up. Now don't be tempted to let go of the button if you see the Apple logo. Keep the volume down button pressed in until you see this recovery mode screen on the iPhone. Now when this is happening on the iPhone, this is what should be happening on iTunes on your computer, where a message tells you that the iPhone is in recovery mode and iTunes is downloading the software for the iPhone. When the download is complete, this message will come up telling you it's contacting the update server followed by this message telling you what you already know that there's a problem with the iPhone you have to then select restore then a repeat of the previous message comes up again possibly then this message appears asking you if you're sure about restoring the iPhone to its original factory settings and of course you are which is why you're here so you select restore and update now as you can see the iPhone screen changes to this, showing you the progress as iTunes goes through 
different stages that can take anything from five to 10 minutes to 20 minutes or more. So a little patience is required. So the first stage being extracting the software, then preparing iPhone for restore, followed by verifying iPhone restore with Apple, then preparing iPhone software for restore, then restoring iPhone software, followed by verifying iPhone software, then verifying iPhone restore, followed by restoring iPhone firmware. Then when complete, this message comes up telling you your iPhone has been restored to factory settings and to leave the iPhone connected until it restarts. Then this message pops up giving you the option to sync the iPhone with iTunes if you so wish. Alternatively, just ignore this and close the iTunes window as I did. Then set up your iPhone 7 as you would normally do if it was straight out of the box, selecting your preferred options. Well, there you have it, a fully restored iPhone 7. I hope this has helped, and if it has, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel to help us to grow. And if you have already subscribed, thank you very much. It really is very much appreciated. And guys, try not to forget your passcode. Thanks a lot. Take care. See you soon.